establishing parenting or paternity in Texas. Why would you do it? And what is it anyway? My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who's practiced family law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. I have been involved in many lawsuits concerning parentage of a child. Now, there is a presumption or an assumption that takes place in the law if the parents are married at the time the child is born. And that is that the husband is assumed to be the father of the child. And in, if nobody challenges that and the parties get divorced, then that husband is automatically going to be ordered to pay child support if uh, the mother has custody of the child. And so that father is known as the presumed father because it is presumed under the law without any testing being done that he is the father. Of course, it's not always accurate. And so it could be that the mother had an affair or the mother would pregnant at the time that they got married, or for whatever reason, that child is biologically not the child of the husband. And so if the mother named another man as the true biological father of the child, that person is known as the alleged father. And the alleged father can't be ordered to pay child support until a court orders established him as true biological father. And then he would be ordered to pay child support. But until then, he's just an alleged father. There is also a legal father, and that is someone that the court has ordered to pay child support is de declared in a court order that he is legally a father. The alleged father can become the legal father through a lawsuit. The husband can become the legal father because of divorce or there is a fourth one, and that's an acknowledged father. And an acknowledged father has voluntarily admitted that he is the father. That can happen either at the birth of the child at the hospital, the father who is not married to the mother, fill out a form at the hospital, and that's an acknowledgement of paternity that would be mailed in the Bureau of Vital Statistics in Austin, and his name would be put on the birth certificate. Or even if he misses that, much later, he can also fill out the form and send it in to the Bureau of Statistics in Austin and be an acknowledged father. If a man thinks that he might be your father, but he's not sure, if, uh, maybe he didn't even know for sure the woman got pregnant, he can register in something called the paternity registry and say, if a child is born about this time, I want to be notified because I believe I might be a father of the child. Now, the father here is declared to be the legal father, whether it's through an acknowledgement or paternity or presumption. He um, can be ordered to pay child support, and that's the most common reason to file a lawsuit. It's one of the parties isn't cooperating, and the other one wants to have a court order saying that they are the parent. But there are other reasons as well. It could be that they want to establish parentage because of medical reasons. The child has some kind of medical condition or he needs to give an accurate history to his doctor of his medical history. He needs to know who his father is. It could be that the biological father wants to establish a relationship and have custody or at least visitation with the child and the mother's not allowing that. And so he needs to be declared legally the father so that he can have an order that says he has the right to visit the child or make other parenting decisions, such as whether the child can join the military or um, make health care decisions, medical school decisions like that. Finally, it may be for financial reasons other than child support. It could be that the child needs to have a court order as to who the father is so that they can get him covered under the father's health insurance. Or it could be um, that there's other benefits, government benefits, or an inheritance that he's entitled to, but he has to have a legal determination of who his father is in order to inherit through him. And so there's a number of reasons why somebody might want to establish parentage legally. Now, the actual process is a painless procedure. It's a cheek swab 
done on the father, the child, and the mother. And it's quick, it's painless. It may take six to eight weeks to get the result, but a lab will issue a written report and that is the conclusive proof of who the true biological father is. Do you have questions about this or do you feel that you need to file suit for an adjudication of parentage? Give me a call. My name is Laura Hurd.